Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Gil from Black Hole Comics. Here reviewing the Taskmaster from the Red Skull Onslaught Build-A-Figure Wave. Here we go, got Taskmaster in the packaging. So here we got Taskmaster in the packaging. Take a look at the packaging. On the side right here. Got Demolition Man. And on the other side we got Taskmaster. On the back we got all the figures from the wave, including Red Skull right there. Got our read up at the top. I'm gonna read it, pause it now. Same figures as uh, I was talking about in my last video when reviewing Demolition Man Cap, Mockingbird, Sharon, Carter, Whirlwind, Cottonmouth, Demolition Man, Taskmaster, and then the build a figure right there. So, one more time, got Taskmaster in the packaging. We're gonna go ahead and crack it open. So here we go, we got Taskmaster out of the packaging. It comes with the shield, it comes with the alternate head, it comes with the sword. Let's start off with the sword. I really like it, it's kind of like a translucent infrared, like orange type, uh, really bright orange. The handle's cool, it looks good. Sculpt is nice on it. Good little details. Alternate head. Got right here. It's cool, but I like the classic head better that it already comes with. So here we go. We got the figure out of the packaging, and I got to say, overall, I really like how it looks. Paintwork is nice on it. A little. Uh, extra pockets and holster and everything that it comes with it looks nice good detail and all that does a close up on all the pouches and his buckle to his holsters I feel like how all that came out looks good I'm gonna go over his shield so the shield that he does come with it actually is um, the same as the Captain America shield, just painted differently. I will be reviewing that Captain America figure. I do have one as well. So be on the lookout for that. I feel like it does look kind of small for Captain America. But for this Taskmaster, I feel like it's... I don't know. It's, it looks better. It looks more proportionate to his size for whatever reason. I don't know. It just looks like it's too small for Cap, but it's like perfect for Taskmaster. So here goes Taskmaster with the alternate head on, with the sword and shield in hand. And we're going to go ahead and do a comparison to the Demolition Man just in height. Okay, here goes the size comparison of uh, Demolition Man and Taskmaster. Taskmaster got a little bit of a bigger, um, bigger height on him, probably about half an inch bigger. Taskmaster has the alternate head, got his sword and shield in hand. I like the way that these two uh, go together. Taskmaster with the blue and silver, Demolition Man with the black and silver. Look really good. Just wanted to put these guys together since they're both uh, mercenaries. Okay, we're going to get into the articulation of Taskmaster. I'm going to start off with his head first. Hold on, pop off his sword out of there, take his shield off, make it easier. Here's the head sculpt on this one more time. Looks good. I like it. I don't know. The more I have the alternate head, it's actually starting to grow on me. I know at first I said like the original head, but I don't know. It's growing on me. So this is as far as he looks down, which you can look into his chest fairly well. Look up. Very good. For side to side. And a little bit of head pivot. He's like, what? like these holsters right here. They move. They don't impede his articulation at all. His arms go up pretty much to a right angle to 90 degrees. Just a little shy of it. Bicep rotation. Double jointed elbows. Does rotate at the wrist and it does hinge up and down. And like I said the belts and holster does not impede his articulation at all. So he does look forward that much, does look back that much, 
does rotate at the waist goes out to the side that much which is pretty good demolition man goes out a little bit further goes out forward that much which is very good goes back a lot that's that mid thigh Hold on. that's the armor there but that's that mid thigh rotation right there double knee double jointed knee and he does move his foot up that much and move it down that much which is more than demolition man and he does have that ankle rocker pivot that we do like so when everything's said and done I gotta say I really like this Taskmaster figure I know when I uh, had demolition man and I was reviewing him I said I put him at the top I still think that he's better than this Taskmaster Taskmaster is just a little bit bigger bulk he feels like he doesn't pose as well as Demolition Man. I don't know. Um, maybe just because I, I feel like he's a little bit too bulky. I feel like maybe he should be more closer to Demolition Man size. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I really like the figure though. So uh, please check me out on Instagram, Facebook. Please like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys.